In our continuing series detailing the duties of a CFO or Chief Financial Officer, today we discuss the CFO's role as it relates to information technology, IT, uh, development and management. If you've worked in an organization with an experienced CFO, you likely already know that the CFO typically holds responsibility for the IT function. In some larger corporations, a CTO, Chief Technology Officer, might hold equal rank with the CFO or higher over these matters. But this is really rare in small to mid-sized businesses where typically the CFO is the one that heads up uh, IT development and management. So this is the role we're going to look at. In these companies, the CFO is ultimately responsible for the maintenance and upgrading of the company's computer and network infrastructure. Obviously, the CFO is not the one personally installing servers and desktops software and the like, but they are charged with putting a structure in place to achieve these business basics with efficiency, security, and performance. The CFO must ensure that IT partners and staff have the chops to meet the organization's goals. Outside of hardware, the CFO is responsible for the development of IT systems to increase business and process efficiency. This can touch every area of the organization providing long-term cost savings and value. It can include custom systems development, implementing new software, or a combo hybrid of the two, if you will. The CFO must assess the options available to meet the needs of the business and choose the method with the best ROI that also aligns with the company's capital budget. Another area that has increasingly come under the umbrella of the CFO is web and internet properties, including websites, blogs, and social media presence. As more metrics are available to measure ROI for these investments, it has become a natural extension for the CFO to be a part of the decision-making team as it relates to these properties. Furthermore, CFOs have become increasingly involved in the oversight of web advertising ROI, including pay-per-click. In small and middle market companies, the CFO is often relied on to assist in the management of these investments and monitoring them against budget. Last but not least, CFOs are called upon to see to the integration of e-commerce platforms into traditional business models. With the tremendous and ever-expanding growth of e-commerce, even in the B2B space, companies can't afford to miss out on this channel. Having e-commerce capabilities not only opens up new markets, it also provides added value for existing customers. Be sure to watch the next video in the What Does a CFO Do series on strategic and financial planning and definitely stop by gatewaycfo.com to get your free copy of Cash Flow Clarity, a cash planning system that will finally allow you to get your cash flow under control, make more money, and regain your peace of mind.